My name is Cecilia Mutava, working for Cheshire Disability Services Kenya as the Chief Executive Officer. Cheshire Disability Services Kenya is a disability focused organization working for persons living with disability, all types of disabilities. We are a member of Leonard Cheshire Global Alliance and a strategic partner of Brilliant Funds in the Netherlands. Uh, we execute our program through a network of 40 partner organizations across the 28 counties in the, in the country. We implement our project in the following thematic areas, rehabilitation and care, livelihood and economic empowerment, education, both inclusive education and special education. We also do institutional capacity development. Our mission is to empower persons with disabilities and caregivers through capacity building and advocacy, linking and grant support. Our vision is an inclusive society where persons with disabilities are resilient and lead quality life. We are implementing the Social Innovation Lab project, which is funded by VOICE, and uh, we are implementing in partnership with uh, Agency for Disability and Development in Africa. The Social Innovation Lab project is a project that is tackling both mental and intellectual disabilities. Mental health um, can be looked at different ways, uh, but really it's the, the, the well-being of any individual that helps them be able to manage um, the normal life routine, uh, manage the normal stress. Um, and it's just not about being physically, you know, well. Um, it also encompasses being mentally fit and mentally okay. Through the project, we are seeking to find sustainable ways through which youths with intellectual and mental disabilities can be accommodated at school and in employment. I was diagnosed with bipolar disorder back in 2014, well, after, after high school. I am a businessman. I make soaps and I also make shoes. I am also a student at Kenyatta University studying theater, film and technology. In the year 2012, I was diagnosed with depression, but my parents did not understand this condition very well. It was not until when I was taken to hospital when the doctors told me I have depression and epilepsy. I started having this condition in the year 2013 when I went for an industrial attachment in Mombasa. I used to read the Bible a lot and I thought I was Jesus Christ. Later, it's when I was told that I have schizophrenia. We have depression, anxiety, uh, bipolar, schizophrenia. Uh, we actually have multiple eating disorders. Um, we have personality disorders uh, like borderline personality, uh, antisocial personality. All those are actually mental health illnesses. We have about 300 and something mental illnesses that are actually documented. Some of them are not actually diagnosed until people get into their teenagehood. But some we see them the symptoms, we start to see them in as young children, even as five. There are some diseases, yes, that have stages, depending on whether people get you know, early treatment. So early intervention is very important. High school was one of the hardest time uh, with my experience with the mental illness, because I didn't know what I was suffering from, because I was self-harming a lot. I used to cut myself a lot. I was generally, you know, what people would call weird. And because they didn't understand what was up with me and what was wrong with this guy, I was, I was named a lot of things. Uh, they said I'm a, I'm a satanist, I'm in a cult. At some, at, uh, one time they said that 
I'm doing I'm into drugs. I attempted suicide several times because everything around me was too much. It was overwhelming. I locked myself in a storage room after getting a few meds, some pills. I took the pills and then I took my tie. I tied it to a to a raft in the storage area. I made a knot and I put my neck in it and I and I hanged myself. What saved me was the fact that I my body weight made the raft snap and I fell to the fell to the ground and I I passed out and I woke up moments later. The second uh, worst experience I was in college and I got to that place again that I felt everything was I didn't deserve to be, I didn't deserve anything. I just felt this hate towards myself. I just wanted to get over it, just end it. And ended up slashing my wrist. And it ended up being a deep cut. I bled out badly. I was put on medication in the year 2013. Initially, I used to get a lot of support from my parents and that really made me feel so happy. It reached a point where that support started fading. My parents felt that I was using a lot of resources for my treatment and I had younger siblings. My parents opted to take me to school, but when I got there, I was on my own. I had to provide everything for myself, rent, food, and stuff like that. This really weighed heavily on me, and I started having suicidal thoughts. I felt rejected. It's like everybody had abandoned me. When my daughter got in that situation, she like, she got the psychosocial disability when she was in campus the second week and we could not understand what was going on. We went to people to be prayed for. We, we were like confused. We didn't know what to do with her because she was so much active. She was hyper. Sometimes I could see as if she was pretending. She was like acting. But when we were referred to a certain hospital in our village, the doctor said that the child has no problem, and we were like, confused. We were referred to Kamiri, a facility in Kabete, where we started the treatment, and it was that time we knew what she was having. It was a, a manageable um, condition, and we started the journey from there. She, she went back to school because first she could not cope with the school environment, if we that are around immediate family members, if we do not um, isolate or stigmatize this individual, then we're showing others how to best treat this person, okay? And then this person also will now feel comfortable to be able to ex express themselves and what they're going through. I've experienced a lot of, lot of stigma. I found myself letting go of some, some jobs. I used to work at a, at a certain company and I was, I was their media and branding manager. So what happened, I, I had an episode, a really bad episode. So I missed work for one day, only a day. And when I went back to work, uh, I was, <coughs> I was confronted. At the beginning of the year 2015, I started working, but I would get an epilepsy attack often. My employer would tell me that I can't continue working with my condition. Sometimes I would report to work late because I got an attack on my way. When I tried to explain to my boss, 
He will tell me that they want someone who is fit to work. Challenges nyingi lakini I have had many challenges, but the biggest challenge was not having the love and warmth of my parents. That closeness makes you feel that you have people around you who care for you. Initially the challenge was we didn't know the problem or we didn't have an idea of what is happening with her because it was a, 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 just a sudden change and so it was like I was so bitter with her I could not even understand why she's behaving like this at a point if I was able to beat her I couldn't even beat her we have been testing learning and documenting on uh, advocacy or stigma reduction towards persons with psychosocial disabilities and also our uh, business training, entrepreneurship training towards self-employment for persons with psychosocial disabilities. Cheshire has really helped me. We have been having meetings in our small groups where we get to discuss issues and challenges that affect us. We get to encourage one another and it always feels good when we talk to and motivate one another. Cheshire has given us business skills, training courses, and boosted us financially. For example, I have been able to buy these cloth bears. I have also registered my company with the city council. We manage them through talk therapy. We manage them through uh, learning skills to reduce our stresses. I do a lot of hobbies. I, I play music, I do art, I draw, also do photography, which I found to be uh, so, it, it's very therapeutic for me. It has really helped me with relaxing and seeing the world in a very, from a different perspective. Having hobbies like writing and reciting poems has helped me not to have lots of deep thoughts. Bygones remains bygones. Have focus in life with smartness. Poetry is like a close friend to me. What is essential for success? Working with the youth, it's really been a, of great and a positive impact. I would like to take this opportunity to thank our donor, The Voice, for supporting this good initiative.